December 16th is a day forever etched in the hearts and minds of these survivors. 11 people died back in 2000 when an F4 tornado tore through Tuscaloosa County. Jennifer Edwards joins us now with more. Thanks, guys. The tornado carved a path of destruction about 18 miles long. Tonight, people who survived the storm are remembering that tragic day. By the time I had walked from the back porch into the house, Winters were already breaking. Gordon Coates breaking. lives in the Hillcrest Meadows neighborhood and was in the direct path of the storm on December 16, 2000. He told me how his wife and daughter took cover in one bathroom while he held on to the plumbing pipes in another. You know, from that, you feel the whole house. You feel the vibrations and everything. And I knew, buddy, a few more seconds and there was going to be nothing there. And I said, Lord, let me stay just a little bit longer. Coates says the entire neighborhood was left in pieces. His family was safe, but only three rooms were left with a ceiling. Just down the street from Coates in the Bear Creek Mobile Home Park, Cindy Leslie was also left picking up the pieces of her home the storm left behind. It was terrible because, I mean, Nothing was left but the tie-down straps, nothing. For Leslie, the hardest part of that day was trying to explain what happened to her young son. It was really sad, but all they could do was just, we brought him to the lot where we used to live and all they could do was just walk around and just look, he didn't know what, you know, five years old. Both survived that day and have since rebuilt their homes and they're still thankful for the outpouring of help they received. I learned after that, if I, if I said I needed something, it was happening. <laughs> We're very lucky and we had a lot of help from, you know, hundreds and hundreds of probably thousands of people and we made it. Both survivors told me that even though it's been 13 years, they still get nervous when severe weather is in their area. Live in the studio, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News.